I think this is my favorite annual visit. It's just so great to see her every single time she comes up. And it's tea time, people. It is tea time, and you can have tea with Kate Linder. She's joining us now, of course, from The Young and The Restless. How are you, Kate? Kate? I'm great. I'm thrilled to see you both again. Thanks, yes. too. And is it really the 14th year yes, of your tea? Yes, it's the 14th tea here in Vancouver. <laughs> So it's for the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation. How much fun do you have at this tea? Because I, I mean, it must be it must be great just interacting with fans, people that know the show so well, and hearing their questions, and and also because it's the 14th year, getting to actually know people that come every year. Yeah, there are some people that have been here since day one, the very first really? tea, and they come every year, and and they're they're fabulous. They're really great. It's like they, making friends. It is like making friends because people, I mean, they truly do love all the characters on Young and Restless. It must be so nice for you to meet them in person and talk about it's what's great. going on with Esther. I, I so enjoy it. Um, everyone has a great time, and we raise money for a great cause at, yeah. at, at the same time. And Christian LeBlanc, who plays Michael, he yeah. once again is our MC. He's does an amazing job. <laughs> and this year we have uh, we have Jeff Bronson who plays Ronan. We have Melissa Egan, she plays Chelsea. We have um, uh, Jessica Collins who plays Avery. <laughs> and now and this person I know everyone's so excited she's coming. Michelle Stafford. Who yeah, plays yeah. So she's uh, do you great. just put an ask around the cast? I mean, how, do, how does everybody yes, get involved I, in well, the team? They're so great to do this because I don't think people realize, but they are not paid. They yeah. do not get paid to do this. So they're giving up their weekend, they're coming up here, and, and they're doing this for, for charity. Are you their flight me. attendant when they fly I up? Flight yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I Can I, I get have, you anything? I have done that before, though. I have had some some cast members on my flights when I've been working, and, and that's so actually funny. Jackie, okay, wait, wait, in we case have to people talk don't know, this. we talk Kate. about this all the time, Kate still, to this day, uh, flies on United, and, and you actually, you work still, I do. I, and in fact, one day I had Jackie Zeman, who was on General Hospital. I don't know if you know, she has it. She was on my flight. And she, I, oh, and the best thing. So was, the competition is no, on the flight this now. This is so great. I know Dee Wallace really good. You know who she yeah, is. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. Okay. So the other day, this was just the other day, at, at the airport in Denver, I, I see her. She's in the boarding area. And I come out. I have my uniform on. And she's looking down. And I, so I stood up there and I said, what are you doing here? <laughs> and she looked up and she looked at me in her eyes because she goes, what are you doing yes. here? She had no idea I now, did that. I know, Kate, a lot of actors are paranoid. They might not have a gig and you might not know what you're doing the next day, but I think your job at Young and Restless is pretty stable. Do you still need to keep <laughs> the part-time work? Well, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun because it's, it's doing a personal appearance on the airplane. I've had so many uh, fans and viewers of the show and it, it, it's great to serve them. And, it and must be funny them. to watch uh, when you're on a plane and, and you would be able to look down and pick out the people that are fans that watch because there must be like a little a little murmur that goes through the well, airplane when they realize that you're really on the flight. Yeah. People say things and uh, or they won't tell me. Sometimes they'll tell the other flight attendants and other flight attendants come up to me. I'll say, go to row 7F. Yeah, and they're going to freak like, out. Yeah. <laughs> I said, really? And she goes, oh, yes, go to row 7F. I said, okay. So Kate, I this year, too, you celebrated 30 years on yes. Young and the Restless. I'm so honored. Did they take a second and, and recognize that? I mean, when people reach a milestone like that on yeah. set, especially something like this where it literally is a family that works on this well, show. Well, the, what they did, which was so amazing, uh, Maria Bell, who is our head writer and executive mm -hmm. producer, and they, they put it in the script. What they did was uh, I alluded to that I've been in this house, meaning the Chancellor House, for 30 years. Yeah. And that's oh how God, they that's covered it. And it was so great. And on the script, it was so... It was, I saved it because in small print it said, this is Kate Linder's, do not, it said, do not change this dialogue for Esther because this is Kate Linder's 30th anniversary and we want to acknowledge 30th it. anniversary on YNR when yeah. you originally read for one line. Yes, one day. Dinner Fion served, was that <laughs> good, Fiona? Thank you. That was it. <laughs> it was Mrs. Chancellor. Uh, dinner is served. It's true acting because it's something my husband never hears. <laughs> 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 it's true acting. What did you make me tonight, baby? That's okay, let's talk though. about another movie uh, that you've done with Maggie Gyllenhaal. It's called Hysteria. It's called Hysteria. What is it about? 
this is such a great film. It's it's out now. Yeah. Yeah. It takes place in the 1800s. Uh, it's a romantic comedy and uh, with Hugh Dancy and Rupert Everett as well. And it is about the accidental invention of the vibrator. So maybe it's explain really, really the history good. there. Michael's going to get a little shy. <laughs> Why was the vibrator originally invented? Well, because, you know, way back then, they believed that women were, they became hysterical. And they committed them. You know, they committed them yeah. to institutions. Yeah. And, and this they was part made of the them therapy. have hysterectom hysterectomies, yeah. all kinds of crazy the things. The dark ages in dark. mental health uh, medicine and, and diagnosis and everything. So this film is about a, a very real, real story. And is it funny? I, I oh, haven't it's seen so it yet. funny. You've got to see it. <laughs> There's it's a little hysterical. take on it. Because uh, you two, you two seem incredibly sane. <laughs> Well, Michael. Just saying. Uh, Just hey, pointing it out as you go. Uh, we always talk about this as uh, as you go along, but you're, you're star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. When did you get it? Uh, two, was it 2008? Yes, 2008. April 10th, 2008. I can't believe it's that long ago. But and there's a picture here. Dusting. Ah! Yeah, as, as, as you I'm would be on up. the show. You know, there's a, there is a story about that duster that people don't know. because Is that he, Esther's duster? No. Actually, Johnny Grant, who was the honorary mayor of Hollywood, and he, he passed away right before before my star I was so disappointed because he was going to be uh, giving it to me. But that was his duster. And um, so they gave it to me, and oh, now I have sweet. it. So oh, no, that not, is no, nice. hardly anyone knows that. Uh, Kate, you know, I mean, part of why we love seeing you all the time is is not only catching up with you, but you do so much work outside. And you mentioned the castmates and how they're giving up their weekend to raise money and everything. But this is a huge part of your life all the time. I mean, you help so many different fundraisers. Well, and I, I, well you know, like, I'm so thrilled to be able to give back. I'm celebrity spokesperson for the ALS Association, yeah. Lou Gehrig's disease. I go to uh, Washington, D.C every year to advocate for, for more funding. Yeah, I have a friend whose father uh, is has been diagnosed with ALS. He's a couple of years in oh, now, sorry. and obviously everybody knows the end point, but um, it's a really tough disease because there isn't really a lot you can do other than management and, and advocacy and mm -hmm. research. But you, you're right, and it's so awful because your mind works perfectly well. Yeah, and the body. I'm sure better than my mind, <laughs> right. but nothing else works. Yeah. And so you are trapped in your own body, and it, it's a disgusting, horrific disease. But I know that there is a cure. I know there is one. It's just we haven't found it yet. And it's the same uh, for breast cancer. Absolutely. Of course, what the T is for. If people want to go to the T with you and your castmates, uh, yeah. they at the ticket? Hyatt Regency, they're one of the sponsors, Alaska Airlines, uh, Global TV, Aveda, Aveda Cosmetics, mm -hmm. and the Interactive uh, he no, Wait a second, healing. there is, I, I believe someone also wins a makeover at like oh, spur of the moment, don't they, at the tea every so year. Great because I've heard about this at the tea and how much fun it is. It's terrific because Patty, Danny, and George Guzman are coming up from LA. They are our Emmy winning hair and makeup, yeah. the heads of hair and makeup. Wow. And they auction off a, a makeover right there. It's so <laughs> Fabulous to watch it happen. And then and you get to amazing. have a, a gorgeous, dignified tea as you go along it's, with the It's makeup. great. But if you, if you go to uh, my website, www.katelinder.com, there's a link to... There's a right link there. right there, katelinder.com. We've got it on the screen. Okay. Of course, it uh, is once again time for the YNR Friends for Afternoon Tea on uh, Saturday, July 21st. That's tomorrow. The event, once again, supports the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation. You can visit the website for more information. And don't forget to watch yes. YNR. It airs, of course, Monday through Friday on Global. Yeah, I love Thank it. You, yeah, thank you, Kate. Oh, nice thank to see you. So good to see you all the time. And I, we were talking about it in the green room. But if I'm ever sick, will you fill in for no, me? No, we're going to send... Well, we don't want you to be sick. We're going to send you off on vacation for a couple no, of days. I can go, go to New York. I can go to... But, you know, but it would be fun. served on Young and Wrestling. Hey, we can go <laughs> up oh, here. Like, trading places <laughs> at <laughs> work. <laughs> bring your job you guys to can work. job swap. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll bring my feather Wait a there. second. I want to job swap with Kate. <laughs> I want to be Mrs. Chancellor. We're going to take a quick break.